If you're like me, you've got a lot of stuff going on, and it can be hard to track all the tasks and other action items you collect during the day. But the good news is, if you use Confluence, there's a very easy way to track them, and assign them to folks, have due dates, and keep a list of all the outstanding action items you've got. So let's jump into Confluence, and I'll show you how. Here I am in Confluence Cloud. This is a premium instance, but if you're on Data Center, this should look very similar. And what we're going to do is first take a look at what is possible with tasks in projects. Here I have a page that is pulling in tasks by different criteria. For example, here is a list of tasks by a specific project. We can see here who they're assigned to, what the task is, when it's due, and even where the task shows up. Here we have a section showing all the tasks assigned to me. I could have this split out by my team so each team member can see their tasks. And I can also see all the tasks that have been completed to give me an idea of what's been done. So let's jump in and see how we can create a task and then how we can pull it into a report just like this one. To create a task, first I need a page. So I'm just gonna click my little create button and add a page. Now for this example, we'll pretend I'm taking meeting notes. So I'll use a meeting notes template. I'll give it a name. If I needed to, I'd add participants and other information. But really what I'm looking for is this action item section at the bottom. So this is included in the template. But if you don't have this in your template or on any other page in Confluence, you can add an action item just by clicking this checkbox right here. This will insert that little tick mark. And this is that action item, the to-do list, the task. All you have to do here is type in what is the task. You can take this a step further by at mentioning someone to make them an assignee. And then you can add a date. So if I do two forward slashes, I can click on date and this will give it a due date. And then from here I can hit enter and just keep adding more tasks as I need to. For this example though, let's pretend we're done adding tasks. I'm just gonna publish this page. And now I want to see that task listed somewhere, just like I saw in the demonstration here. To get that, all I'm gonna do is, again, create a page. I'm gonna go back to the top of this space click my Create button, and add a page. I'll call this Outstanding Tasks. And now I'm going to add a macro. I'll type in a forward slash and type in Task Report. And here I can see some options. I need to limit it by a space or a page. So in this case, I'll focus it just on Project Jaquil. Once I select a space or a page, I'll see this get instantly populated with tasks. Now I can further limit this down by selecting a specific label I want to filter it by or maybe even who it's assigned to. So if I only want to find my tasks or the tasks of a certain team member, I can do that. I can also say, when was the task created by? To only task created after a certain date, there's status. So if I only want to see incomplete ones, which is very useful for tracking things, the number of tasks, the columns of information I want to see, which are fairly limited, but can be useful. And then how should they be sorted? Here, I'll just leave it sorted by due date to show the most recent one at the top. And then I'll just publish. And there we have a list of all the tasks that I need to accomplish. I do want to jump back into this macro, though, and show you a couple of interesting tricks you can use. Depending on how your Confluence is set up, you may have a different space for every project. This can make it very easy for you to sort your tasks by which project they're in. So for example, instead of saying outstanding tasks, I might call this outstanding tasks for project Jaquil. Under that, I might have an entirely different one for a different project by selecting it here. And then I can repeat that for every project I'm working on or for every project of team members that I'm managing. I can also be selective with these labels. I might have a section of tasks just related to procurement or just related to engineering based on the labels on the page of the meeting notes or other things that I have in Confluence. So there we have it a way to quickly and easily track tasks within Confluence. Once I have them listed here, I can just tick boxes to indicate that they've been completed or untick them if I'd made a mistake. I can also go back to the original page and complete them there as well. And once I do that, we'll see them drop off my task report because they've been completed. So that is one way to very easily track tasks in Confluence. Again, all you have to do is go to edit that page and click on the action item up here. So there we have a very quick and easy way to track action items in Confluence. 
If you like this, please like it, subscribe, share it with other folks, and drop some comments with how you use Confluence to track your projects or any other information. Thanks again for dropping in, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in another one of these soon.